Hi, I'm Shu Tyler and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is just going to be a channel where I'm going to be reviewing gear um, that I crew from time to time, um, starting with this beautiful Gordon Smith. Um, I'll re do reviews of pedals, um, amps and any other bits and pieces that I get hold of. Um, I'll also be doing some competitions on some of the pedals that I get. Um, so if you want to be entered into those, click the subscribe button and you can be notified when I do the competitions and what it involves. Um, I'm also going to be using this channel to s follow my journey of becoming a better guitarist. I've been a sort of punk musician for 20 odd years now, playing in various different punk bands in the Birmingham area. <coughs> and I've always thought, ah, you know what, I don't need to learn scales and modes and all that kind of stuff. I know a few you know, I know a lot of chords, I can play riffs, I can write songs, so I figured that would get me by. But as I got a bit older, I figured, well, you know what, I want to do some different types of music, some different stuff, and I'm finding that I need to know sort of these very basic things. Um, so it's going to be about my journey, learning all those things and becoming a better guitarist. Right, first up, as I said, um, I'm going to be reviewing this. And this is my Gordon Smith GS1000. Got this about three months ago. Um, it's an absolutely amazing guitar. I've been a big fan of Gordon Smith for a long time now and I've earned probably three GS1s in my time. Um, they've all been the thinner body type, um, just rugged workhorse guitars, um, but they've always had amazing necks and, and felt really nice to play. Um, I was a little concerned when Auden Guitars took them over because um, I wasn't sure what direction they would go in, um, <clears throat> whether they'd just go off in a completely different tangent. Um, but I've got to say, uh, after owning this for a little while, it's probably the best Gordon Smith I've ever owned. Um, it abs feels absolutely amazing to play. The neck is sublime. Um, yeah, and I couldn't be happier, and it sounds like a beast, to be honest. Um, it's an all uh, mahogany one-piece body, uh, one-piece mahogany neck. It's got a rosewood fretboard with medium jumbo frets. Um, it's also finished in this really nice gloss black, which is unusual for a Gordon Smith guitar, um, as they're normally just sort of like natural wood, uh, with maybe with a, a slight burst on them. Um, it's also got cream binding all around the body, head, uh, neck and headstock. Um, I've got to say as well, the finish on it is, is amazing. Um, the, f the fret edges are really nicely rolled. There's absolutely no sharp or jagged bits there. Um, I can run my finger up and down the neck um, without any issues whatsoever. Um, it's got a single Gordon Smith humbucker in, which is really hot, um, but it is coil tappable. Um, single volume and single tone with a Gotto bridge, which is fully intonatable, um, which is a bonus because um, a lot of the Gordon Smiths um, are just a wrap over bridge. But on their website, you can customize your own guitar to suit your own needs as well. So I would definitely recommend checking them out at GordonSmithGuitars.com. Um, right, I'm going to. <coughs> Uh, play through a few sounds now uh, so you can hear how it sounds. I'm playing through my Fender Bass Breaker 15 uh, combo, which I will um, do a review of later. Um, I'm using uh, Didario XL uh, strings, uh, 10 to 52s. I just prefer a bit of a chunkier string on it for, for the more chunky stuff I do. Um, yeah. And that's pretty much the only thing I've done um, to this guitar since I bought it, is just put a new set of strings on. Um, I will be honest and say there were a few issues when I first bought the guitar. I bought it from an online retailer, um, had it delivered, and I noticed a few slight things that were bothering me. So I got in touch with the guys at Gordon Smith, and they arranged a courier to come and collect it. They checked it all over for me. Turns out the online retailer they bought from it reset it up and reset it up badly. So they completely did a reset for me, checked everything over, 
and sent it back to me the next day. They kept me informed in the whole process. And yeah, I can't thank them enough. Um, they were brilliant to work with, um, so I'd highly recommend them. Um, right, I'm gonna start off on a clean tone uh, with the coil tap up, uh, so it's in single coil mode. And I'm gonna roll the tone off to about three quarters off. Um, and you can sort of see how versatile it is bringing the tone back in. Um, yeah, so here goes. As you can see, even when it's on clean, it resonates really, really well. Um, with the tone, um, roll back a bit and get some really nice warm sounds. Um, that'd be great for sort of bluesy lead stuff. Um, also, if you coil tap it, you can get some really nice, chimey, sort of clean sounds. Um, yeah, it's very, very versatile. I'm gonna play a loop now that I recorded earlier and just play some bluesy lead stuff over it um, with a little bit of crunch from my Pure Sky uh, Overdrive by K-Line which I'll be re again reviewing a bit later um, after that I'll do some high gain punky chubby stuff because I know when I look at reviews online hardly anybody plays that kind of stuff so um, I wanted to, yeah, to have an availability there of the, of the stuff for, for sort of like American type punk stuff and, and stuff and I'll do some rocky stuff as well um, but yeah here it goes here like I said here's uh, just a bit of crunch um, with some lady stuff
like. As you can see, does some, sort of that blues you need stuff really well. Um, just roll back that tone, you can get really nice sort of creamy lead sounds. Um, like I say, I'm going to do some high gain chuggy stuff now. Um, but yeah, here it goes. For this, I'm using the Golden Plexi by Town City, um, which again, I'll review later. But uh, yeah, here you go. <laughs>
just some clean with the, the drop D. As, you, as you've just heard, it sounds absolutely brilliant. Like I said, it feels really amazing to play. Um, I absolutely love it. It's available, um, like I said, with different configurations. Um, you can get sort of two humbuckers, uh, get one with a P90. Um, there's loads of different things you can do. So if you go to their website, you can go through and sort of customize your own. Um, I'm probably going to be looking at getting another one with a P90 at some point in the next few months. Um, I love them that much. Um, yeah, so like I said, if you want to find out more, go check them out at gordonsmithguitars.com. Um, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>